Hello and welcome to Matt and Derek's Quiz Lab. I'm Matt and this is De uh, Awkward. Uh, awkward. Okay. Who are you? My name's Sophie. Oh, hi Sophie. This is Sophie. She's going to be uh, Derek today. Um, so you I might need have to, seen like, her turn before. up the snark, turn up the sarcastic comments. <laughs> yeah, you should just try to be annoying the whole time because then you can be just like Derek. I don't know if I can like reach you can, quite that level. Nobody can reach that level. Derek has a has a special kind of level that he reaches. So, but today is uh, art quizzes, and I am a professional, um, not art quiz taker, maker, or art critic. But uh, Sophie uh, actually has a degree in art, I believe. Is that true? Like half a degree in art. Half a degree is a half more than I have. So. Perfect. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we're gonna play some art quizzes today, and uh, but. Before we do, I just wanted to um, to, to check in and make sure that uh, we we feel with us, and so we're gonna check in and see how Derek's doing. So uh, we'll be right back. Hey, hello, and greetings from Colorado. This is Derek reporting for Sporkle uh, on vacation, but thought I'd check in with y'all and say hi to the Matt and Derek Quiz Lab crowd. Uh, we're about to go into a smokehouse here in the mountains. There's one cook, I think his name's Earl, and I'm gonna have some brisket. We've got the Coors sign there, so everything you expect from Colorado saw deer. And uh, yeah, haven't cut my hair yet, Matt, so you should be happy. And uh, I'll try and check in a little bit later. All right, enjoy, bye. Okay, so that happened. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's go in and start playing some quizzes, right? Perfect. It's time for our quizzes. You ready? You yeah. ready to do this? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So here we have our playlist with some quizzes. And, Ooh, cats uh, and art. You know, cats and art. I also have art. a cat, so. Well, then there we go. A cat and art. Let's try cats and art. How can you go wrong with cats and art? Oh, it's oh, so my gosh. cute. The amount of pain to cats with their titles and artists. All right. Are these real pictures? Are there, like, art paintings? Is, is, is cats a big art thing? I don't remember this ever coming up on any tests in college. They didn't have an art like cat a, quiz in college? No, it sounds like a great seminar, though. Right. I would have taken that seminar if it was offered. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see how you do. Perfect. Flowers, flowers and, and cats. Okay, um, well, that has flowers and cats. It does. Are there any others with flowers Ooh, and cats? Ooh, that's flowers and cats, but this looks a little more Gauguin-ish, right? Yeah. All right. Perfect. Two cats, Two cats fighting. fighting. Okay, that one looks like a dead cat. Um... I don't really Ooh, see any other... Oh, looks... except... No, that oh, one's a bird. It's eating a bird. That's eating and a bird. It's... Okay. Then we'll go with this one. Cat, Cat devouring. devouring a bird. And it's Picasso. Okay. So that and one's like Picasso. a... Yeah, that's pretty pretty good there. The uh, favorite cat. The favorite cat. By Kenny Yeah. Do you know anything about that person's nope. artness? Sounds okay. like two people, but... All right. Cat, Cat on, on a, a clothesline. Oh, there we go. Oh. Cat and Bird by Paul Klee. Um, there's a bird on that cat's forehead. Oh, yep. That seems cliche. Uh, box for animal mummy surmounted. Well, we're going to go with that one. Oh, killing it. Sleeping Cat by Renoir. Renoir. That seems like the only one that's sleeping at the moment. And the Tiger Cat. Would you agree this is a Tiger Cat? Yeah, so it has here? like some stripes. They could be fat rolls, so. Okay. And this favorite cat, of course. Look at that. Perfect. Start Nailed the day it. with 100%. A That's right. We got this. We are artastic. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I just wanted to briefly uh, show you. I was working on some of my. Uh, I was working on my Pollock rendition. I wanted everybody to see this. What do you think? Do you think I? Uh, do you think I have a career in art? Oh, killing it out here. Okay. The Great. depth, the <laughs> shadow, the emotion. All right. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the quizzes. <laughs> okay, so artists or organ stops. I, art and a theft sounds kind of fun. Yeah, that sounds uh, like an adventure. So, okay. Can you name the artist of each of these notable works that have been stolen? All right, let's see how it goes. Enter the artist. Well, da Vinci. Da Vinci. I see, so they give us some more help. We've got the picture and the thing. You want to do your scream? Can we do your scream? Okay. Uh, let's see. The concert. 
Ooh. This painting by a Dutch master, known for interior scenes, is considered to be the most valuable stolen work ever. Well, is Renoir yeah. Dutch? Or, I don't no? think that's him, though. Rembrandt? It some, might be Rembrandt, but I don't think it is. I like was just looking this guy. It's the name some Dutch masters. <laughs> I mean, let's try Rembrandt, but I don't think it's him. Um, maybe skip and come back. All right. The Storm of the Sea on Galilee. Also taken the same as twelve other works, including this only seascape to be painted by a prolific Dutch Golden Age artist. This is another one. So I was telling Matt before this started, I, it's been four years since I studied art, and there's a lot that's just not quite there in my brain Dutch man. All right, we're gonna keep going. How about this one? Depicting a man sketching a Paris cafe, an important bridge between realism and impressionism. All right. This guy is saying, oh yeah, Vermeer for the first one that we skipped. You think this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's Vermeer, okay. Uh, no, I think Dutch. that would be oh. the... All right. Let's go to Impression. Manet? And, uh, whoops, if I can type. Hey, look at that. All right, Portrait of a Young Man. Renaissance. Um, wonder hmm. what missing in Germany. Oh, it still has not resurfaced. I took it. It's mm, in my yeah, basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Just Judges. This panel is from the Ghent Altarpiece, a work by a pair of early ne Netherlandish, not Neanderthalish, Netherlandish artists. One of whom painted the Arnolfi portrait. Not hmm. there. All right. <laughs> the Boy in the Red Vest. Post-impressionist painting was stolen from the foundation in Switzerland. It was recovered four years later by the Serbian police. Once again, the artist. Oh, I see. Those are the people who recovered it. They're very nice. Anything? No. Nope. Nothing? Okay. All right. We are not doing great at our artists here. Also taken from the museum by a French artist associated with the Impressionist movement. Other Impressionist French. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Ah, so close. Uh, let's see, okay, uh, this painting was the most famous artist of the Italian Baroque period. Ooh, Italian Baroque. Musicians I could name, but... Were any of the, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Baroque Italian painters? No. Or were they, what, what period were they all from? What is it? Raphael, Michelangelo, uh, Donatello. And Leonardo. Oh, we already got Leonardo. Yeah, we already have Leonardo. Um, maybe we're up. Maybe we're up there. I don't think so, though. No. Okay. Ooh, poppy flowers. This is familiar looking. Post impressionist. A lot of quiet. <laughs> All right, we might move through here. We're not doing so good. Part of the overnight theft of five paintings in the Paris Museum of Modern Art. Renowned Cubist artist. Uh, it sounds also familiar, but my art artist is uh, under the gun here. We're uh, I know the pressure's we're doing, on. We're doing really bad. So. Woman with a fan. Oh. Artist. Famous artist, number one. <laughs> uh, French artist known for his colorful, somewhat cylindrical cubist influence style was among the worst taken. No. Oh, no. I think Derek's going to make fun of you for your art knowledge in the future. Oh, he absolutely okay. will. <laughs> I've seen this one before, too. How could somebody steal a statue? Wow. That's impressive. Uh, all right. And, and we're, we're back. back to the back. Okay, so we're gonna give up because we Rembrandt. didn't do so there well. We Rembrandt, there you go. Could have gotten that, but uh, uh, don't don't expect us to know a lot about art. But we, you know, these are this is a really cool quiz. I actually like this quiz. This is very neat, and I would probably learn a lot if I was playing not uh, under the gun and in the camera. So, uh, well done, Biasa. B B is 
Uh. Ba- Baisa? Well, Baisa? Like, it's not a gazelle. I was going to say bison, but that's not a bison. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I want to go and check out briefly the uh, our curator. Oh, it's by the curator. Look at that. Biasa is the our curator. We got to play their quiz, and uh, it was a very cool quiz. So they're doing a bang up job in this uh, in this category in the art. Um, look at this. Oh, hey, look at that. Here, do you want to do you want to recreate American Gothic? I would love okay. to. Okay. Okay. Ready? Uh, yeah. Let's uh, get the camera on us here and recreate our American Gothic. Okay, and... Okay, that and happened. Back. All right, and... Uh, <laughs> all right, so, uh, you know, I think another thing we might want to do is, uh, I think I think we have a reporter uh, in the field mm-hmm. who um, who's, who's, who's checking in on some art things, so let's go check him out and see how he's doing. Hi, this is Derek from Sporkle. Uh, <clears throat> I'm reporting live from a Michaels here in Colorado, and um, back to you. Okay, uh, it seems like maybe he um, he needs a little more time to do some more research. I think he might be having some some issues there. So we'll check. We'll maybe I don't know if I don't know if we'll get to see him again. Uh, he might need some more time to do some more research in the field. So, all right, should we play another quiz? Absolutely, you should. Okay, how about so? Where do, where do you feel like your strength is in art, and if if there is one? <laughs> um, again, it's been a while. Um, I don't know. General art history was supposed to be my strength, but clearly that is not. Famous Let's photographs, and black and white or color. We could try. I definitely did not study photography, so. Oh, can you tell me if these famous photographs were originally colored black or white? Oh. Well, at least we get uh, the binary option here, and maybe we'll 50, do 50. well. A 50 50. Let's give it a shot. And it's, we get to look at some fun pictures. So I think this one was black and white. Oh, yeah. Look at the clothing okay. they're wearing. Uh, yes. Well, oof. okay. You think yes? No, nope. I think it was color. Yeah. Okay. The Hinden or the Zeppelin. That was probably black and white. Yeah. Uh, correct. Hand of God. That seems like it would be color. Yeah. And apparently it was. Okay. Uh, The Reagan. This has got to be color, right? Yeah. With Reagan, yeah. Okay. The Vietnam Vietnam War. War. I I bet this is color as well. I know, but. Oh, it was black and white. Okay. I'm going to say black and white. I am too. And we're right. Okay. Iwo Jima. I think this is also black black and white as well. Yep. Okay. Um, wall. I think the wall, wall is color. color. Yeah. I think it's color. Black. Oh, I feel like they often will just do portraits in black they will and do white black to start and white. off with. Okay, let's go with that as a. All right. Good logic. Good logic. Americanized. This is color. Color. Yeah. Um, the Challenger crew color. also color. Oh. Yeah. Where were you when that happened? <laughs> oh, you weren't. I was probably Challenger Crew. What year was that? 86. Yeah, I wasn't born. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was third grade. No, wait, fourth, fifth? One of those grades. Can't remember. Okay. Tandem Square Protest. I believe this is also color. Uh, children Not Born to Burn. New York City Protests. That looks black and white. I don't know why. I mean, it's. I'm gonna. You gonna think maybe you're, gonna, go you're color. gonna go color on that one? Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh. African color. girl, she color because the eyes, right? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Bill Gates, that's color. There's no reason to put him in black and white. Oswald versus Ruby. I think this is black and white. Okay. Yep. Uh, this is color, I think. Yep. And Marilyn Monroe. This is black and white, right? I think For so. The movie, right? I want to say black and white for this one yeah, too. Yeah, Okay. Not bad. Oh, not bad. Lower but than the still average. Lower than the average. Well, everybody knows black and white and color better than us. But we didn't do terribly, and no. I'll take that as a uh, as a as a good as a good omen here. So, um, 
I also have another uh, very important work of art here, and I want you all to see this one. And uh, we, we're looking for a name for this one, so as soon as, if you guys can come up with a name, that'd be great. Um, I think mountains and, and, there's mountains and flowers, but uh, uh, if you have, if you have any, any feelings about what that name should be for that art, we would love to hear it. Um, so, uh, okay. So let's get in. Let's just do one more quiz. Should we do another one? Yeah. Okay. And on a high note. And on a high note. So, um, well, we already know we're not very good at the artists. So let's not do that anymore. Painters by Russian doll. More painters. Toddler by... art or modern art? Con... Where's toddler? Oh, toddler art or modern art? <laughs> I think I might have actually played this one before, but. Of a small child or a famous, well, it's another slideshow, uh, and 50 50. So let's let's pick a different one. How about, um, here's fact file country by famous landscape painting. That's kind of naming countries. It's a strong suit of yours, geography master. Uh, that, well, I don't know if I'm going to go all the way to master, but <laughs> better at geography than I am. Mountains so. with flowers and stuff. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay, so, uh, all right, we'll give it a shot. Whose landscapes are depicted in these paintings? Okay, countries. Okay, right, that looks. Are we gonna just? No. Nope. No, Eastern Europe uh, somewhere. Maybe France. It looks kind of French. It looks kind of French. Nope. Poland. <laughs> this is the name as many countries as possible. All right, let's see if things a little bit more clear here. Um. Wow, that's a very interesting landscape. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Art quizzes have a lot to look at. Yeah. I mean, that looks... Oh, I guess Oh, the, there you go. I guess this little thing, Moreau. The Catalan landscape. That's Spain. That's... Okay. All right. Maybe the hints would help us here. Yeah. Arrow yarn felt. Uh, so that seems like... I don't know. Finland. Just go with the names. Kyuhasai. Clearing autumn skies over mountains and valleys. Is that... Okay. All right. Ilya Rapin, landscape near Chukwebo. Do you know where Chukwebo is? I don't. Ilya, but Russia. it seems. Oh, All right. Ukraine. Okay. Uh, Themistocles von Ackenberger, view of Lars of the Sun, Sonnefjord. Okay, so we're talking somewhere in Denmark. Denmark, Norway. Norway, there we go. The fjords of Norway. Japan. High fire, clear warning, Japan. Okay. All right. Landscape is seen from the Odyssey, Rome. Oh. Really? No. Greece. Oh. Greece. Okay. Right. Diego Rivera. Um, Mexico. Okay. Vincent Van Gogh, the Starry Night. This is this is not Italy, is it? It's France. Yeah. Nice down there. Edward Hopper Road in Maine. USA. <laughs> Okay. How many mains are We're there? We're going to use some Cezanne, Mont Saint Victoire. France? Victory, Vict well, we had France already. Okay. Good France advice. again. Tomas Sanchez, Hear the Water. It's a cool picture. It's really cool. It's um, like someplace I want to go. Uh, well, what are we thinking? No thoughts on this one. Uh, Brazil? No. Okay, we're gonna skip that one. Matisse. Landscape. Uh, I, I mean, that's. I don't sounds... think that's a landscape. <laughs> Landscape's a generous <laughs> term. Uh, you know, France again? Okay. It's a lot of France, of France in, in here. France in here, yeah. Well, and this. Uh, probably China. China. Maybe Korea. Uh, okay. Greco. View of Toledo. Oh, uh, so Toledo was. Not Ohio. It's not Ohio, but it should be. Um, El Greco. Is it? I mean, El Greco is the Greek. Yeah. Did you try Greece? I did try Greece. Okay. Uh. Berder, um, Okay. You, uh, uh, Angel Falls, Venezuela. I want to go try that one. I don't know if it's. Oh, uh, it sounds believable. Uh, that was a good, good thought. I do feel like south, south somewhere, but all right. 
Jacob, Isaac, Isaac Vaughn, Roosdale, View of Harlem and the Bleaching Grounds. All right, we're gonna go back to Netherlands. Sounds very Netherlandy. Casper, Dave Freig, Vonder Above the Sea of Fog. The sea of Fog. Um, German? Seems like a place with fog. Oh, I gotta go with the name, right? Yeah. Okay, so this one, Lordship Lane Station. Okay, so this is the UK. All right, so there's some. They said big water. Toledo is Spain. Okay. So now we have the waterfall. There's some Do we big have any help Africa. with the waterfalls? Um, it'd be kind of fun to get all of these since we did so well. I know but, we're uh, one away. Where the water? Seconds. Tomas Sanchez. Tomas. The water. I would have thought South America. It just feels like Chile. Ecuador, Peru. Um, <laughs> oh man. Colombia. Did you try Brazil yet? I did. Hmm. Well, I don't know if we're gonna pull this one out, but we'll find out what it is. So. I mean, ten seconds left. The waterfall. Spain again. Mexico. Well, here it is. What is the answer? Cuba. Cuba. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't going to get that. Yeah, but I guess they have a cool waterfall in Cuba. I should go there sometime. Yeah. I think we're allowed to now. Oh, well, yeah, I heard that. Or maybe we're not allowed to it's anymore. Like still it's still pending or something. It's hard okay. to keep track of these things. It is hard to keep track. So, okay. Nice. Well, we could have done worse. We could have done worse. We, uh, we got 17 and... We were actually better than the average on that one, so we'll take it. Perfect. So, and on a high note. And on a high note. Okay, well, thanks again for joining us with our quizzes. Uh, next week, we're going to do children's books because uh, I've read one or two of those, and I'm hoping that I can do okay. Uh, I might bring another Here guest and because uh, Derek will still be somewhere else. Um, I'm sure he's, he's off taking care of very important things. Doing very more field work. Things. More field work, yes. More in the field. So... Uh, all right. Thanks again, and we will see you next week.